Howdy, Rick from Dreamside Out. Pretty nice day today. Weather's better. Just uh, one of those talking videos. One of my friends on uh, on online asked me what it is I do in the evenings. What what I what I do to to you know pass the time. And I've sort of had some other videos about this. I uh, have uh, you know when I first moved in the van, I was kind of wondering what to do in the evenings uh, because all of a sudden you got this extra free time that you didn't have before because you're not commuting and you're not dealing with all kinds of household chores and things you're just taking care you know you know you're filling up the gas getting groceries you're doing that kind of stuff but you suddenly you have a lot of time on your hands and what i've ha found that i've had to learn to do is just find a place and make myself sit still <clears throat> and rather than drive around there's a tendency when you're in a van at least i <clears throat> i do to to want to keep moving <laughs> you know i i um it's a kind of a, oh, it's just a kind of a nervous reaction type of thing, I guess. If, you, if you're bored and don't know what to do, so you just keep on driving. And, and that uses up gas, takes up time. Uh, but what I've decided to do, and I've kind of fallen into a pattern over the past few months where I park in a nice place. I've gotten several nice places that I can park. And right here I can watch uh, paragliders and people... You know, have a good time flying their kites and people out in their boats and stuff like that. And this, is, this is a great place. <clears throat> so I hang out here in the evenings. I'll show you a little bit of the stuff I do. I'd like to show you this little pair of speakers I got. I really, really like these. I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun with them. They're, they're uh, you know, you can plug them into charge and they, the charge lasts a long time on them. They have a nice uh, lithium battery inside and they just last forever. And um, then what you can do, and they're, they're waterproof. They're kind of made to be uh, taken out on boats and stuff. And they have little uh, screw-in places on the bottom where you can screw up. Put a screw in a carabiner in that. I don't know where it is right now, but you, so you can latch it onto your, your rail or something when you're on a, on a boat. The cool thing about these speakers is I can pair them together. You turn them on, um, and then it... It will one of them will connect with your Bluetooth device, which in my case is my uh, Samsung phone, and then you can hit these two buttons, and they will pair together, and <clears throat> then you have sort of a surround sound. You know, you can you can set. I always set one over here, and uh, set another one over here, or anywhere I want, or I can set them outdoors if I want, and I get really good sound. Okay, I'll show you some other things that I do. Uh, you know, I haven't shown you any of my drawings lately. Um, here, laying on the drawing board is a, is a drawing that I did a couple weekends ago on a Saturday. I did this drawing and it was kind of, I, I did this in honor of a particular friend of mine. Um, and uh, what I like to do is, you know, I draw this, these things in pencil using just regular pencils and uh, this is a mechanical pencil and then uh, different uh, racer tools and a sharpener here and then what I what I like to do is take this and you know I have this little wand scanner by viewpoint it works great you turn it on and you just go over it like this very slowly and you get a real high resolution scan from it believe it or not it's very it's a very usable scan and it plugs in with USB into my laptop right here and then now I have the the image on the screen you see and it's in Photoshop, and I can go in there and play with the image and do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, you know, it's a, uh, you know, I, I can paint, do all kinds of stuff. I've just gotten started on kind of enhancing this image. I, I don't know how it's going to turn out yet, but this is the kind of thing I do. Uh, I like this setup because, uh, you know, I can 
I can work small. It works great for being mobile. Uh, I can I can get the kind of the satisfaction of creating a, a painting like painted image that's colorized with the digital end of it. But at the same time, I I can you know I have my tactile uh, needs met with uh, drawing by hand. And what I what I do is I I have. I have this digitizer pad over here, a Wacom digitizer pad. I also have a screen. This is a special laptop because it has an Intrig digitizer right on the screen. So I can use this stylus and I can draw and paint right on the screen with that. Or uh, have my hand over the side like this because in Photoshop, sometimes I like one hand on the digitizer and another hand on the keyboard. Anyway, that's just a, a technique for if, if anybody out there is an artist living in a van that you might be interested to know that's that's how I do stuff. Um, I'm kind of making a portfolio here of little printable images which will soon be available in print form. You'll be able to purchase them uh, online if you want to and uh, I'll let you know more about that. I'm looking forward to getting a, a few of them ready before I start uh, letting them, releasing them to the public, so to speak. You guys are good ducks. I'm glad you came by to visit. You, sir, have a really handsome outfit. Your wife is pretty cute there. Even though she's got a, you know, kind of a pretty, pretty dull looking outfit, but still, you guys are welcome here anytime. I'm glad you stopped by. Thanks so much. I think you're fine ducks. You're the finest ducks ever. Look at you. Let's look close. Yeah, you guys are just good ducks. You're the best ducks of all. I can't imagine there being any better ducks than you guys. Got an itch there? Yeah. Yeah. Living in a van. Talking to the ducks. Just having another evening. One thing about living in a van is that it's not as comfortable as living in a house or an apartment or a plush place. It's simply not as comfortable. My, my space here is pretty comfortable, but it's ne not nearly as comfortable as living in a house. But it, it brings up an interesting thing. Discomfort is is turning out to not be a bad thing. Uh, it's, it goes along with one of my my philosophies about rather than acquiring more, requiring less. Uh, you can let go of a few comforts. I have found that I'm, I'm able to let go of some comforts. And the trade-off is that, well, there's freedom and you're in a different zone. You're in a different kind of a mental zone when you're just a little bit less comfortable than you were before. But the thing about that is, this is the weird thing, that less comfortable state somehow becomes comfortable. And that's the big deception, I think, of comfort. It's like, like eating too much sugar all the time, you know? You gotta have more and more and more. But I now know that if I go in and plop in a, in a couch in somebody's house or something, it's gonna make me kinda sick. I'm gonna feel a loss, you know? Because uh, this discomfort of living in the van has become so, comfortable. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Have a good one. Beautiful view. Been listening to avalanches all around us, but the Lord is taking care of us. We're not in the way of it. Okay, so the summit is right up there. I just got a little ways to go, but it's the hardest to stretch. I'm in a Mount Eleanor, one heck of a corner sticking out right there. Panorama, Mount Washington.
up here with some hardy souls who decided to climb up here on this day. Yeah, it's a real climb, real mountain. Just a... Uh, yeah, kind of a training mountain. <laughs> yeah, for me.